welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 2192. All ancestors of a node in a directed cyclic graph. The way we'll be solving this problem is by using a hash map um, to keep a track of all of the, uh, the parents and then all of the kids that they have. So basically zero would have three and four. Um, and then we'll also keep a track of number of parents that each node has so that that will allow us to aggregate the end result. So let's get started. The problem becomes a little more um, obvious and easier to understand once we walk through it. So let's set up um, data, data structures that we need to solve this problem. The first thing that we need is um, a hash map, as I said. So integer and hash set to um doesn't should it be a hash set it could be anything honestly because uh, all of the 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 directions they go from parent to child and i don't think they'd be replicated so we, you could use a list as well but i'll just go with the hash set um and let's call this parents to children uh, and then this is a new hash map Okay, the other thing that we need is we need to keep a track of the number of parents for each uh, node. Uh, we'll see how to use this um, as we walk through the problem. Parents, and this will be new int, and the size will be n because we know um, that the number of um, nodes would be numbered from 0 to n minus 1 inclusive. Awesome, so once we have that, what we need to do is actually um, get all of the the pairs as in like parents to children and since every parent can have multiple children we need to aggregate those results and we'll do that in a for loop so um let's go through the edges to the area that's given to us so it'll be okay awesome we have the skeleton for the for loop and we need to have a check so if is that what it is? That contains key. Um, oh no, we actually need to get the parent. So parent here would be edge of zero and the child here would be edge of one. Awesome, so we have the child and the parent. Uh, if it doesn't contain Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, that looks nice. Nice. Um, so if it doesn't contain the key, that means we haven't really added um, a new hash set to that. So what we'll do is we'll do uh, parents to to children dot put. Uh, we'll put the parent in, and then we'll put an empty hash set. Awesome. Uh, once we have that done, what we need to do is uh, we actually need to put the child in the parents list. So dot get parent dot put uh, child. Yes. So what we were basically doing is we're trying to get, okay, so um, zero has three and four, uh, two has four and seven. So basically you're trying to uh, create that list because only edges are given to us. We need to create a parent to all children sort of uh, data structure. And that's what we're doing right here. Uh, and once we do that, we also, as I said, we need to track the number of parents um, for each child. So number of parents for the given child, you just need to increment that by one. All right, so we have a data st structure that can help us with, with populated data to help us solve the problem. N we need to go to the next part where we go through all of the nodes, we see how, what parents they have, and we also look at the parents that those nodes have. Um, for this, we need a couple of data structures. Uh, let's do, uh, before we initialize those data structures, a couple of things that we need to know. The results that need to be returned, they need to be returned in an ascending order. And because order is important, um, so let's just initialize a list of a tree set of integer. Uh, and let's just call it children to parents. Uh, it will be a new array list. Okay, 
Um, and the other thing we also need is a queue. So the queue, uh, what we'll be using it for is to keep a track of the nodes that we have already seen. New, let's call it uh, just queue and initialize that to be a linked list. Right, so before we get into like the, the main part of actually aggregating those values, what we need to do is we need to iterate through um, all of the nodes. We need to do a couple of things with that. We need to uh, add a new um, tree set for every single edge dot uh, for every single node. Sorry, dot add new tree set, and we need to check if um, number of parents. For a given node, if it is equal to zero, we put that in the queue. And why are we doing that? The reason why we're doing that is because we the the question is asking us to uh, get all of the ancestors of a given node, right? So for that, we need to make sure that we start from the very beginning, and that means you start at the, like, if you think about a family tree, you need to start from the very beginning so that for any little child that you try to see uh, the parents for, they're already aggregated and you can just like copy over that list from the parents as all of the ancestors. So that's the reason if we start with something that doesn't have any parents, that means those are the starting nodes and those are safe for us to tackle first. So once we have that, uh, we'll have a while loop that, uh, like it at, at this point, it's very obvious since it's a queue. Um, the while loop will be as long as it's not empty, you keep iterating through that. Ty, right? Um, and then let's call it current parent that we're looking at. So queue dot remove, right? Um, and what do we do with this? So for uh, okay, let actually let's let me write the for loop and then I can walk you folks through it. Current child, current child, like current child. Um, what should it be? Uh, is it that one? No parents to children. Yes. We dot get get our default actually, and the reason why we need to do get our default is because we don't really know whether each parent has kids or not. Some nodes could just be as is. New. A hash map, hash set. Sorry. Okay. So basically, what you're doing is you're saying, um, all right. So we are looking at parents, and we are looking at nodes that don't really have any parents in the beginning, right? And we're saying, get me all the children for that given node, and add that parent for that node, right? So you're saying parents to children. You're saying, bring me all of the kids for that particular parent, right? If it doesn't really exist, just uh, send in like a default, like an empty hash set. Um, and it will be children to parents dot get current child dot add current parent. So what are you doing here? What you're doing is you're saying, um, all of the children that this particular parent has pull the data structure like that walks from all the children to parents add that parent and add that parent's parents as well uh, let me actually let me copy this dot add this become so since you're adding multiple numbers this will be okay let's try to understand this line right so this is saying okay for the given child add the parent that we're looking at but also add all of the parents ancestors as well so the parents parents so this is what this line is taking care of right and then since we have already added a parent for a given child, you can subtract 
one parent from that. So number of parents of current child would you'd subtract that. And if this is zero, that means it has it no longer has parents that we haven't tracked for. And you can start looking at this node. So if it is equal to zero, you say uh, q.offer um, current child. And this while loop will populate all of the values that we care about. When this is done, it's the problem is almost complete, but we are not done yet. The type of value that we, that we need to return is a list of list of integers. But uh, right now, the result is stored in the list of tree set, and we needed that because we need that to be in the order. We could also do something a little more complicated where we actually put that um, in a list of lists, but we have uh, some sort of like a um, a mechanism, like a sorting algorithm that you could custom write um, and then just like sort the values. Um, but since the bulk of the problem is being spent to actually like aggregate all of the values in a way that we want to solve them, this should be sufficient unless your and until your interviewer asks you to do that specifically. So let's continue with this. Uh, let's call this result and the new um, array list. Uh, what do we need next? We literally need to iterate through all of the nodes. So it'll be result.add, it'll be new array list. And the thing that you need to add is um, children to parents dot get of i. Um, and we obviously don't care about this stuff because it's just a copy paste. Um, I don't think this might, yeah, okay. And in the end, you just return the result. This is one of the more like longer questions to solve. Still a very interesting question to solve. Um, okay, let's try compiling this and see if it's okay. Of course. Um, okay, I think I missed something. All right, of course, one more. Let's try again. Contains key. Can I find symbol? Which one is it? Oh, it's contains key, not contain, of course, classic. And what else? I think there's another problem. Dot add, I think it is, instead of put. Oh, yeah, I think it's add. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, of course. Um, current child, okay, I think I made a spelling error, yeah. Okay, four times the charm, maybe. Uh, of course. All right, okay, so um, the first few test cases passed. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome, so let's talk about the space and the time complexity. Um, okay, so the space complexity here, it's a for loop, so this would be of n, this is also of n. Um, this is also of n since we don't, uh, because of the way we are iterating through um, the nodes, we won't repeat them, so it'd be of n. So the time complexity is of n, the space complexity, since we're using um, a hash map and then again a list, um, the space complexity is of n as well. Awesome. Um, long question, but a fun one. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I would definitely appreciate that. It keeps me motivated to make more videos. Um, thanks so much, and I'll see you folks in the next video. Peace.